Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Rolling, Rolling, Rolling. He's off the road. He's at, he's in Washington D.C. Roland Martin. Good morning. What the hell? I'm not even familiar with this place. <laughs> Stuff got moved around. Shockingly. <laughs> Finally at home, been on the road for a couple of 11-day road trips, uh, but back on the road tomorrow. Pittsburgh, I'll be there for the State of Black Learning, uh, giving the keynote speech tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, hit to Cincinnati on Friday uh, for a Ford Cares event. And so looking forward to that as well. And so, uh, you know, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. And so they have their Men of Change event there in Cincinnati. All right, um, uh, folks, um, we are... The nation is still trying to grapple with uh, the mass shootings that took place in uh, El Paso as well as in Dayton, Ohio. Um, We have had numerous mass shootings. In fact, we have more mass shootings this year than we actually had days of the year. And the and you've had Democrats who've been clamoring for uh, Senator Mitch McConnell uh, to bring folks back from vacation to deal with this. He's made it clear it's not going to happen. So the question is, are we going to actually see gun control? You see uh, the orange one flirting with the idea uh, of gun control. You have, of course, uh, the NRAA. They're all over the place in terms of internal discord. But will America step up? Joining us right now is Shannon Watts. She is founder of the Grassroots Group uh, Moms Demand. She is basically one of the biggest thorns in the side of the National Rifle Association uh, they can't stand when, when she does when she does anything. And um, first of all, Shannon, uh, how many moms are a part of your organization uh, across this country? Good morning. Uh, you know, we have grown to be hundreds of thousands of volunteers. I'm a full time volunteer across the country. We have a chapter in every single state. And we are working on this issue every single day like it's another full time job. And you look, you're the author of the book "Fight Like a Fight Like a Mother." And and when we talk about gun control, uh, the Republicans have blocked every single mm-hmm. effort, even after Sandy Hook. They, they 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 all they send thoughts and prayers. They tweet stuff, talk a good game, but do nothing. Do you think we have arrived at a point where they might do something, or is it business as usual? We are seeing some Republicans who have opposed any kind of gun safety bill in the past, say that they've had a change of heart in mind, including the governor of Ohio and even a congressman in Tennessee. So I'm always hopeful. I am always hopeful that our members of Congress, our lawmakers will do the right thing. But I'll tell you what, if they don't, there will be hell to pay in 2020. And when you talk about 2020, I mean, gun control, if you look at the polling data, is a major issue. It was also an issue in the 2018 midterms, a lot of those swing districts. Republicans are extremely worried uh, in these suburban districts. In fact, you have eight retirements in Texas, and they are sounding the alarm saying, hey, we might lose these seats. Yes, even in red Texas, that's how major gun control and also how women have stepped up to say, look, you against this, I'm going to be against you. That's exactly right. And they should be afraid because in the midterm elections, we outspent and outmaneuvered the NRA for the first time in their history. We elected elected over a thousand gun sense candidates, including my former colleague, Lucy McBath, who is now a congresswoman in Georgia. And we flipped the makeup of seven state legislatures, many of which we've already gone into and passed stronger gun laws. So these lawmakers should read the tea leaves. This is the future. It is we are going to have background checks and strong red flag laws and all of the other important laws that will keep our families and our community safe. It is going to happen. Sybil. I'm wondering in terms of uh, just with Mitch McConnell and, and talking about these things uh, and, and the bills that are on his desk right now, are you in contact with anybody in the United States Senate regarding any hope for anything being done before this vacation is over? We are having discussions. Yeah. Uh, do I think they're going to come back from recess? I doubt it. At the same time, it gives us an opportunity where we live to have in-district face-to-face meetings with these lawmakers. In fact, if people want to join us throughout the month of August, especially this upcoming weekend, 
You can text RALLY to 64433. We're going to have an event in every single state, and we are going to meet with our lawmakers and show them that we want this legislation to get passed. What kind of conversation are you having, though? As you say, you're having these talks um, with with folks, and I know that that Mm -hmm. it's not going to happen, them coming back, but what are the conversations like uh, that you are having? The the fact that we need strong legislation. So um, Senators Manchin and Toomey Mm -hmm. uh, have worked with us for a while, and they are working together to put the background check bill that failed after the Sandy Hook school shooting back in 2013 back on the table. Um, Senator Graham is working with Senator Blumenthal to create a red flags law. Um, and that is a really important law that actually could have worked in, in the shootings over the weekend. You know, this idea that if someone is armed and dangerous, then their guns should be removed until people can figure out what the real threat is. Um, and that law is already in 17 states. So we are having conversations with lawmakers about what are the best bills that can be put forward as soon as possible. Shannon, what do you say to people who say <laughs> guns are here to stay? And it's nothing that anybody can do about it. Well, I hear that a lot. And and yes, we do have nearly 400 million guns in this country, one for every man, woman, and child. But there are other countries that have a lot of guns per capita that don't have the same gun violence that we do. We have a 25 times higher gun homicide rate than any other high-income country. And the reason for that is because we have so few gun laws. And look, if more guns and fewer laws made us safer, We'd be the safest country in the world. Mm. Instead, we have the highest rate of gun violence. And and what about the children? What are the conversations that are being had um, with them? Well, you know, the, as they're going back to school about, this week and, and beyond. Yeah, I mean, so many people are going back to school, and so it's an important conversation to have. Kids need to feel safe. But guess what? Those those kids, especially those who were 16 two years ago, are now voting age. And Republicans also fear them. And so, uh, trust me, those Parkland students and right. other students having an impact on our election. Shannon Watts, y'all doing a great job with Mom's Demand. Uh, keep the pressure up because Thank you. Republicans are feeling that heat. And what's that text number again, Shannon? Text RALLY to 64433. All right. Good luck to you. Keep up the great work. Thank yes. you. Yes. Keep the conversation going. That's how, it, that's how we start, Shannon.